fashion. with Vintage Uprise in Texas. Hello. Here with the haul video. This haul is from when we went and took a trip, a little uh, overnight trip with Vintage Conversation, Martha and her husband, G. And we went up to around North Texas to Longview and Marshall and Jefferson. Jefferson. And Jefferson. Jefferson. <laughs> so, this is what we oh, got. Oh, it's Jefferson. <laughs> this is what we got. With If you know what all that was about, you can put that in the comments. So this is all we got for uh, a two-day trip with them. <laughs> this is all? This we got a lot. I think we're going to explore Northeast. We're just going to go with no particular order. Do you ever have an order to start? I don't know. Let's go. He acts like he's new at this game. Always. Here, look. I got a bunch of blocks. She likes blocks. I like blocks. Ooh. I'm just a baby. <laughs> and I pay you in blocks. I um, don't have no money. I can pay you in blocks. <laughs> oh, I left out that part, huh? Now, I got these because, you know, to do crafts with them, that's my intention, because I do have a basket full of blocks in the toy room. But um, those are for fun things, uh, crafts. Ooh, I maybe should get rid of some big stuff. Just kind of get it out of the way. We fa Tammy found this nice, tall brass, like a deco design deer, at a very good price. Ooh, stringy. And someone's gonna love that. And it's not super super heavy. It's hollow, but it's a nice piece. Very nice piece. And then I found another one just like it at a couple of stores later, but smaller for more monies. Lots more monies. On the porch of the first stop we had that opened up was a Emerson fan cage. It's rusted, but it's in really good shape. Some vinegar might clean that up. And I told him he could put it on the ceiling and put an Edison, 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 Edison light bulbs. bulb in there. Be well, cool. Yeah, but I see some fans that are missing the cage or the cages are damaged. So this might be a nice marriage for a fan. Maybe. If not a craft. <laughs> or craft. Um, I'm just not super crafty. I got these uh, tin mugs. Or what are they? Aluminum? Aluminum mugs? I got these to do a craft with. We'll see. We'll see. And we'll I have high hopes for me. <laughs> we'll stay on aluminum. I found a two-piece, well, it's two-piece, but it's a nice deco-looking aluminum vase. See the little watermarks where they've had flowers in there, but it's a nice deco, ooh, just, just the right size too. Not too big, not too small. Perfect for uh, a deco display. I got a little Bradley doll here. And she's different. I haven't seen one of these like this. She's actually a trinket box. A little trinket box. She's got green and orange. That's probably what really popped me to her. But isn't she darling? Little Bradley doll trinket box. And then we picked up another set of Hoosier shakers and no label on them but the, these were at a really good price at a very expensive shop uh, but we love meeting other resellers that are doing their own okay. game she not only had a storefront but she sells clothes on facebook but she had these and i picked this is the only thing we picked up in her shop is it yeah i'm the only one that bought anything yeah okay i didn't okay um what does this say? A night shine 
in the night. A light shining in the, I had to see where it began. A light shines in the night. It's a little candlestick, a uh, brass candle holder. Is how it starts, where it starts. But it has these green and blue uh, and a slight purple in it. It holds five candles. Then I found a uh, nice desk accessory, mid-century, from Team, Team Line. And this is a container, metal top, a nice brown plastic bottom, and it's to hold your rubber bands and your paper clips. So something, something nice, something different. Maybe it was common in your area. I've never seen one, but I thought it was neat, so I picked it up. You can, utilitarian, you can use it for anything. David picked this up. How you doing? <laughs> Howdy. A uh, Hager cowboy hat planter, or well, yeah, not quite fedora, I guess cowboy hat. Nice Hager piece, it's signed. Nice little planter. I guess bases. I guess for risers, for... For craft. For crafts. So she could put a baby head on this one. <laughs> well, I didn't even think about that. And here's another one she picked up that doesn't have feet, but doesn't need to. Or maybe it held a candle this way. One of those larger candles, like from Kirkland's. I don't know. It's a good riser, I think, this way. Right. So she picked those up. And I'm kind of clearing space as we go. <laughs> I also picked up this copper. I like picking up copper at a good price because it starts to patina and it looks nice outside. It's just different from just different planters. Then you have clay planters and then the art planters like the McCoys, Wellers, and then it's nice to mix in a little metal every now and then. Look at this. I got me a snake it's an arm snake it might go up on your arm here but you know i got mommy arms so it's not going to work for me i think you can stretch it out a little bit too or you can tighten it up but look at that ain't it cool it's a wrap around snake for your arm or wrist or however i don't know i thought it was different and i i like picking up the unusual things well i found it but we got it it was a good price we found another uh Black Panther for a shelf for a shelf. And if you're starting a nice little MCM collection, this would be a nice little shelf. Yeah, piece. I have one already, so also, I have enough Black Panthers. She found this brooch. And it's not enamel, is it? Yes. Okay. I guess she's keeping it. Because where on earth would I ever do with that? gonna go in my window my window my window <laughs> look at this I thought this was different and unusual and it's heavy this part is heavy a little uh, glass vase and Martha suggested putting a betta fish in here I'm like oh yeah that would be cool so fish. do they not like having a lot of room I don't know I mean, has anyone they ever asked a betta fish? I don't think betta fish can be with other fish because no, they yeah, fight. No, yeah, but I mean, but look how confined he is. I don't know. I want to check into this, see what this is. It's I'm nice gonna and ask heavy. A fish. Very pretty. You go right ahead and ask oh, that yeah. betta fish. I'm going to do it in public, too, when you're around me. You do everything else in public. There you go. It's a heavy piece. I found a number 444 Esterbrook fountain, fountain pen, but this is the dipless. They call it the dipless fountain pens, which means the fountain pen would, the nib would set in here and it would angle out and then it's dipless because the pen had a, a bladder reservoir for your ink. So you can find the Esterbrooks and Esterbrooks, believe it or not, are easy to fix and restore and they are the workhorses they 
uh, probably six times out of 10, they work. Isn't he so cute when he thinks he knows what he's talking about? He's so cute. He is so and cute. It's made out of glass. <laughs> Look at this bad boy. He looks like a pet bull. Is that a pet bull? Or no, one of those other uh, oh, underbite bulldog. bulldog. It's a a brass ashtray. I thought that was fun. It was different. I'm hoping I can clean that up a bit. Yeah, we'll clean that up. But you know, if you can really see its face very well, but it's cute. I like that. I found a Taylor roast meat it's thermometer it's in the box and never been used. So someone bought this for the bride and she never took it out. Here, she never cooked with it, huh? Here she, is she was a vegetarian. A wooden, <laughs> uh, a wood frame, what do you call this? Wood cover, there we go. A wood cover, um, Old Southern Recipe Cookbook. I like that. It was, uh, you know. Wait, let me show you some pages. This is from 1972. So get some real good old country cooking recipes in that your mama used to make. Your mama used to make. This is the first amethyst, black amethyst ash glass ashtray I found so I was excited to pick one of these up and showing it to you now we're enjoying the light, the pink, the purple show the amethyst show but they can't sit, we're but that was cool. and I found a stay with some glass a nice McKee custard does it glow? yes it glows, this baby pops and he didn't bring his popper I have this shaker look at this, this is a really nice shaker or what your sugar powder your your I don't know what how big of a shaker do you use this can't be your salt and pepper could it but it's it's large it's not one of those laundry ones made out of glass I don't know maybe it was uh, I just liked it for baking maybe y'all can tell me then I found this was a cool find uh, I don't know if you can see it Hand me that piece of paper. This Texas, Oklahoma, good lord. Uh, a set of eight brand new barware with oil rigs on it. So this is gonna go good if here. That in doesn't Houston. say Texas. I don't know what will. Texas, we'll. Oklahoma, Louisiana, where all the California, where the big refineries are. Mm -hmm. Washington State. That's cool. Found a brand new set in the plastic in the original box. And look at this cute little trinket dish. It is plastic. It has a mushroom and three little pig um, piggies, three little mice um, going round and round the mushroom. Isn't that cute? It's so adorable. I love that. Just a clear plastic piece. And this thick molded ashtray. It kind of looks blinko, but I don't know about, I have to research because of the little design of the little guy in the middle. But you can use it, uh, I guess, for like a small catch-all. Or if you like the shape, put a candle on it. I don't know. It's a nice piece. Now. It's different. It's different. Here we have some sexy little froggies. They're sexy and they know it. Sexy and you know it. <laughs> and. He looks like me when I'm watching Tammy do the shipping. Yeah, exactly. And this is the way he looks when he's watching the TV. <laughs> but notice. It's sexy, nonetheless. <laughs> oh, right, big old eyes. Yes, nonetheless. Yeah, yeah. So, so I'm sexy? Mm, sexy in your eyes, yes. <laughs> Cute little froggies. They are Homeco. 
These are some home co frogs. Home co frog. Clink, clink. Clink, clink. No clinking. No clinking. No clinking. <gasps> Y'all know what this is. Deco, deco. Manhattan. Can candle holders. Love it. Okay. Actually, I found three, didn't I? Yeah, you found one in another place. At yeah, another... I found one single and then a pair. But that was probably already done in a home. So, I have these little, um, here's some aluminum uh, coasters. And here is some, I don't know, what are these? I don't know. The way she says it. Little silver tone uh, coasters. I'm not selling these as is because they're going to be and crashed. Upscaled is my plan. Upscaled. So stay tuned for that. I'm telling y'all this now. Gotta get my my creative juices flowing. <laughs> and I found a nice, it looks dirty, but it's not. This is from Le Leslie Mitchell from Mitchell Potteries in Texas. And it's got like an oil sheen, almost like carnival. I'll spin that around where you can see it. Very, very, very pretty. It's very understated, but when you see it in light, it really pops. There's not famous for this, isn't the famous uh, finish that he has, but um, it's very, very handsome. And there's, of course, signed by Mitchell. Yeah, I love that one. David found this. He just knew I would like this, and I do, I do. It's an elephant, a plastic elephant water can. Or plastic elephant water That's two plastic. elephants we have. Well, I guess they would be popular because they're trunks. Yeah, the trunks do all the watering. Do we have another elephant? A little blue one. Oh, yeah, yeah. We do have a little blue one. He leaks now. So, the kids he's play cute with and it. he's orange. The kids play with it. Yeah, we have one out on our porch that they would use to water our flowers with. And did you put that there on purpose? No, they they came with it. They're they very there's earring. One. Oh, there's one? Oh, there, there was another one somewhere. Well, he fell out. Hmm. So, Tammy found a white elephant gift, which is really a white elephant. It did have two earrings. I so just it came. holds. <laughs> He's a bank, or she's a bank, with a stopper and an earring holder. Huh, I wonder what happened the to the earring. The twin is somewhere around here. Probably left in the bag. But cute, cute. That'll wash off. That's where the sticker residue was. But isn't she adorable? She's cute. And for those restoring RCA Victors or you have one, this I found, picked up this badge, RCA badge. Or if you just want it for display. This cute. There's Nipper. Listening to his master's voice. And I got these cute little guys. One in yellow, little clown. Yellow. Here's a red one. And a blue one. Aren't they cute? I can't, you know, I'm sitting here debating. Do I want to keep them? Do I want to keep them? Oh, I just see this one, the little red one. You can't tell from the front, but on his backside, his little foot is chipped right there. I just noticed that. I didn't see that before. Super cute. And here's a lidded jar from um, Hazel Atlas, used for whatever. This particular person used use this for it's very faint they used it for salt so they put salt in here and I actually found another one of these that I didn't pick up without the lid for almost triple the price I got this one. triple actually quadruple the price I got this one so I didn't I didn't pick that one up mm, here is an amber oh. bitten it's dirty thumbprint 
thumbprint. Yes, lacy thumbprint. I have a blue one. Sale. I have a blue one like this. We might already have a fitting one like this. Mm -hmm. I think it's taller. So. Yeah, but when you find them, pick them up, especially if it's a good price. And I found this single deco piece. It's a small bookend. Very nice deco design, horse head. Doesn't have the maker mark on there. Has the old green felt. This will probably be in the next two chap sale coming up August 14th, so stay tuned. Did y'all know we have a collection of Boy Scout Derby cars? <laughs> See, we collect everything. But he had stopped for a while and he found these. Those but are different. They are different. They are cool. They're I do well, like them. Very well painted. So, this will probably go on our shelf over there with the Derby cars. You might see it every now and then behind two chaps because that's where all these are. And I found this uh, dresser mirror. Nothing more to say about that. Just a nice metallic dresser mirror. And it has a photo in the back. The Kenton monkey. And it has a stand? You didn't show that. I showed the stand. Oh, yeah. you did? Okay. Sure. Apothecary. An amber apothecary it carries things <laughs> probably late august early september we'll sell a bunch of orange cloths orange is a fall this color orange? Uh, like a fall color okay well i'm gonna make me a fall uh sale i just had a blue sale not too long ago we'll do a fall sale too a falsetto sale now who remembers the computers like that? But this is a planner or, or a desk organizer. You put this computer on your desk for nostalgic reasons. And it's an organizer. And it's that periwinkle blue kind of color. But ain't that fun? Hold up. I found four of these, oops, very pretty, uh, Glastonbury, oh, I guess these are uh, water glasses or goblets. And fancy very, water glasses. Very nice. Fancy. No, um, fancy. Nice little ring to them. Have a square black glass vase applied to the goblet. Very nice etching. And these are pretty, pretty, pretty. Now, there are teen. There's, I think, on one, maybe the one Tammy's holding. There is a tiny, tiny, tiny flea bite, and it's a flea bite. But these are coming to a sale very soon. Probably two chaps again. I have a set of four, and just they're just very, very nice and very elegant. If you go to a certain website to where you replace items, replace some glass, hint, hint, they, these are retailing at 35 per glass. 35 per. Of course, you'll get them cheaper here. They have a, um, like, what do you call this? Like an octagon look about them? Oh, yeah, the siding. Mm -hmm. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow, 16. Very pretty. Now, who remembers these? Who I remember? I remember these being very popular in the 80s. You get a bunch of beads, you twist them together, and you get this little clip, a clip like this, and, um, and clip them all together, and... You know, you have your big old chunky, chunky Monkey. necklace. Nowadays, I did couldn't wear, wear this. this. Yeah, I did actually. But what nowadays, I can't. How are you trying to It felt like it choked me. I don't know. 
but they're very pretty. They come in different colors, different shades. You wear them with your parachute pants? Yeah, parachute pants. But this just brought back memories. That's why I had to get that. But I do have another set that you twist, the, the beads, but I don't have this piece. I have this photo of Spencer Tracy. Mm -hmm. In a very nice deco frame. Very pretty. Also have another frame of Mr. Gregory Peck. Very, very deco. Take him out of there and clean it up a little bit. Nice frames. Very nice. And look at this pretty thing. Now I have some uh, dresser trays with the, the gold gilding, metal gilding around it that are oval. But this is a nice square, all glass. See the frame, the dolls are glass. This is gonna be so fun to ship. Mirror deco frame. Look at that. Just very pretty. Those things over there. Look what Carol Brady found. Here's a story. I just love this. And we gotta put the little metal, we'll fix that. Yes. You got it? You got it? Yeah. Gotta put these little metal do, do, ends, do, do, do. connect them back. But do, 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 do. a beautiful relish tray with glass squares, wooden handles, brass, um, Tea candles, not tea candles, teak wood handles. And a brass frame, and then they have, we have these little square trays in there with trimmed in gold. Great, I love this. This is a great relish divider tray. Four dishes in here. This I really like. And Tammy wanted me to buy a wig, and it came with a wig stand. She thought I looked handsome. I looked like <laughs> Einstein. Yeah. I sent I sent the gang a picture of me wearing it. Y'all, I cut my hair, and you know, and that's about the color of my hair here, in the front. <laughs> and Dee's like, "No, you didn't." No, you didn't. <laughs> so it, she had to come watch me on one of my lives to see if I really did or not, because <laughs> I, I didn't bought, tell her different. I bought a library book that was discarded from the Austin Library, and. Someone was selling their booth, and it's art around the world in the time of Warhol. So just various artists around the world, just different, different uh, examples during that time. So I just thought maybe as reference or just, just a little fun read when it's storming outside. And while I'm on books, this one's from 1946. 1946. They had jokes back then, y'all. 10,000 Jokes Toast Stories. <laughs> and I was sharing these with Tam Tam. And just nice humor. Um, things from just the American scene and restaurants, marriage, couples, college, professions. You should have saved one. College wit and humor. So for example, here's one. It's a conversation between the dean and the co-ed. And the dean says, where are your parents? I have none. Where are your guardians? I have none. Where are your support? Where are your supporters? Sir, you're forgetting yourself. So you shouldn't have a wrong. <laughs> And other things like that. I like that you're forgetting yourself. That's not how we say it today, is it? Did you show these? No. Are these? Then I found two. Are these? Blinko water pitchers. I found two. two. Pretty green and clear. And he don't have these colors. Love, 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 love. See, this is why we need another window. Get your Blinko water pitcher. They're so, I mean, use them. Yeah. They're so pretty. They we still need, make these. We need like 10 of them to use. They're still making these. They are. So how do you know which, how old or newer these are? The colors. 
So you gotta look up the you colors. You gotta go by the colors, each catalog. So you need to put the labels on the bottom so you know. Yeah. You but then that. that might look ugly sitting there too. You see that right, it, might look, it might look like blue tape. <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> but yeah, uh, they still make these. And I think they retail 70 or $80 on the Blinko website. And I'm not selling them for that much. Oh, you are. You are selling them. You just keeping certain ones? Then I found a pair of Cambridge candle holders. He pretty, loves his clear pretty. glass, y'all. Very gorgeous. You can change the color of candles with whatever season. And these will just remain blue candles for winter, red for the holidays, maybe orange for another holiday. Um, lucite candles that will probably sell some lucite with these. I don't know. So my team is Lucite. And not without the Cambridge key. Very pretty. Well, thank you, Vanna. <laughs> then I found some desserts. Watermelon glass. Watermelon glass. A custards or desserts. And they glow. Yeah, they glow. You can tell they glow. And this one has a little bit more than a flea bite on the edge. Let me show that. They're right, right above my eye. Look how it's distorting my nose. <laughs> no way, I'm having fun with my Snapchat filter now using the glass. <laughs> so right above the bridge of my nose is the little bite and it's on the inside, not the outside. You can't feel it from the outside. I'm going to see if I can get that smoothed out. But very nice etching on the glass. And they're just very, very pretty. Very dainty. And. Ooh. Is this the last thing? This is the last, but not we. Oh, no. I said that. Oh, you did? Mm -hmm. I must not have been paying attention. What was I doing? Reading? No. You were looking straight at me. Scott mentioned this at the beginning of his sale. Monday. Oh, this ain't a mirror? Huh? Kind of a mirror. It's a mirror. You need my nails? Why do they do that? You need my nails? No, don't smudge it. Don't smudge it. I'm not smudging it. I'm trying to do it. <gasps> How did Scott know that you had that? I, I showed it to him. So what he, he goes, you have to get it. Blue mirror for the early 1900s. Oh, it's just got gorgeous. felt on the back. It's got blue. It's got felt on the back. Uh, not quite ready to hang, but just just a nice, wonderful piece. So of it's a, it's glass. something you would hang blue on the glass. It is something you would hang on the wall. It's not something that you set down and put things on it like a dresser mirror. To each their own. Whatever okay. you want to do. Most of these hung on the wall. Okay. This size. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I better just put that back. Yeah. In the I was say, why don't you put it back in the paper? Okay, Tim, go ahead. Go ahead with what? That is everything. Oh, no, no, one more, one more. It's underneath the coffee table here. Ooh. I think that will be everything. Earlier when we started two chaps, someone said, bring the industrial, bring the industrial. I love industrial. I absolutely love it. Sometimes it's hard to ship because it's big. So if you like commit to industrial, but I love... Let me see how heavy that is. That is not heavy. It's not heavy. It's just big. But I love these wire... Look up wire waste baskets. I'm surprised he's not keeping it. Go to First Dibs and look at wire waste baskets. I would keep that in my office. eBay for wire waste baskets. He's got a leather... What is that thing that you use as a... It's an old fireman uh, leather bucket. But it's a... It's it what was, he uses for his waste basket. It was an ice 
Oh, it was an ice bucket? Uh, ice bucket, yeah. But the lid's gone. So. But it's really tall. Mm hmm. I do like this. This is pretty cool. It's really neat. It's from the Massillon Wire Basket Company. So it's, it has its badging on the bottom. You can see it's stamped on the back. Come on, it, it's a little beat up on the bottom, but it was a wastebasket. This thing was kicked around. Just think of all the people, all the old correspondents that came out of here. Just, just neat. And it was a pretty good price. These can go for a lot of money and it's not roached out. It's not rusting. It's not falling apart. I'll probably bring it to a sale. Someone might be interested in it. So I, I will bring it, it to a sale. She thinks I should keep it. I think. I think I could. I should keep everything mm -hmm. and build a house around everything. <laughs> Can't take it with you though. Mm -hmm. Can't take it with you. We're going to have quite the estate sale when we're older. Mm -hmm. So that is our haul. And again, if you are new to us, please consider subscribing to us to Vintage Uprising Texas and be sure to hit the notification bell. Give us a thumbs up before you leave, you guys. Tell us in the comments below what was your favorite item yes, and what you what look your forward favorite? to. What was your favorite? My favorite was the... Mm, I like the book. I like the book. I like the Blinko. I always love my Blinko. Mm, mm. But I guess out of all of it, out of all of it, all of it, all of it, I don't the know, I'm looking. Amethyst Ashtray, never seen one, and the Blue Mirror Glass, Never found watermelon glass before, so I'm happy about that. That was cool to find that. I loved your, your black lunch. and white glasses. The those are pretty. The, those are very elegant. I love my the relish you know, gray. This was a good love, trip. love, love. This was a good trip. There, we found a lot in my yellow bit. Just it's it's all over the map. Glass, metal, um, industrial, wigs. This is. This is the kind of cell we usually bring. You see Manhattan. how scattered this was? How um, diverse it was? Mm -hmm. That's the way our live cells usually are too. So. Okay. So, shop the hall. You can always shop the hall. You don't have to wait for a cell. Uh, if you're interested, just leave a comment or email Tammy at VintageUprisingTX at gmail.com. And, again, y'all, like comment share share us we're trying to get our channel to grow i'm almost to 2000 subscribers we're trying to grow 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 okay y'all as always wait for the kids enjoy the gun show <laughs> five four three two one if you click that and click that subscribe button click up there, there and click 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 give a big, big thumbs, thumbs up, up. Bye. Bye.